Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Omega Given. Um, we're doing a slight tutorial on how to alter your, um, I guess your server settings from the Alta launcher. This is the Alta launcher that I have open right here. Um, when you log in, you have to log in using your Alta account. Mine is Omega Given and enter password. So well, basically, once you're in, you'll be able to see on the right hand side, if you click this, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but the right hand side, far right, there's a little icon here that has like three people or three little heads of people and such um click that and that will take you to basically this page um else you'll be on this page um so click on this icon over here on the, on the far right and you'll see servers you can actually join servers from here if you want to find servers sometimes there's descriptions of servers that you think it might be good like look at this aisle it has nine thousand members so who knows that's actually a pretty good server there's some other ones that have like two or three members so you can find servers this way um but what we want to focus on today is going on to your server so i'm going to click on my server here you can see it populates in the, in the right here um this is my oculus server so i can click on the gear icon uh, up at the top right um under that thing and it'll pop up this um this kind of helps moderate a little like this is like a service level kind of settings of your server not that many settings it's just like more roles and like just like the name of it as well as visibility of it um, you can see that I have made my server and prepping it for the official AT like a Township Tail SMP for creators. So th that's what this is. Um, um, it's going to be cooperative events, role play, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, of course, it's going to be a private server. So here you can change it from private to public to open. I don't actually know what the difference between open and public is. I think public, you can accept invites. Open might be anyone can join. I, I can't remember. I don't remember exactly what's what. Um, you can have role names. We can actually rename ourselves from owner to Matt, like, I don't know, something else. Like, we could, you know what, let's change it to um, Overlord. <laughs> yeah, let's change it to Overlord. Um, so, And then you can change the color. I have mine as red because I like red. Uh, you can change your own different settings. I would not change the the um, ability of your owner. Make sure your owner has full powers so you don't accidentally lose powers, privileges, um, then you can click apply at the very bottom. It'll apply. It'll do this. Double check your changes and just do confirm. So basically, that's how you can do that. Um, it looks like our role name didn't actually change. Um, as you can see, I do have my um, invite code blacked out. Who knows? It might get leaked, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be a, a private server. I mean, we have to accept your invites anyways. Um, the server, as you can see, I've cleared. Uh, that should be taking a while. I cleared it off. Uh, I, I kicked everybody from it that was on before because we're trying to, um, uh, you know, make it so it's only for creators. So we have Clickster, we have Rad Fox, Tepid Ember, a bunch of them joining in soon. Maybe we'll have some other ones like Siege, um, uh, also known as CJ. So we'll have them on. Um, but over here, you can also click on uh, Moderator and you can limit a little bit of what moderators can do. So moderators can send out invites, accept invites ban kick um you can have them actually create a server if slots are available i don't know what this means i think this is if you're a supporter rank you can get a certain amount of slots for how many servers you can have um for example cj has two servers um cj if you don't know him he's a uh fairly he's a fairly big uh um um help person but he has the farlands modded and he also has um wait the farlands so two two servers the farlands modded and the farlands so you can have like that of course um, that's pretty decent there. Um, what's some other stuff we have here? So we have modified group. I, I think this is so you can modify these groups, like the owner, moderator, member. They have this functionality set as if you could create more, but we don't have more um, groups that we can create. So um, we're just going to assume that this is like, you know, for future stuff. Um, as well as just like moderating these these three groups. All right, able to modify a server. Um, so I'm guessing this is to be able to use the dashboard to be able to do like you know trade commands, um, spawn commands for PC VR people, and things like that. Um, then we have the console, be able to use the server console. This is I'm pretty sure this is the server console within game. Um, so you can change like light and day, fill meters, and other stuff like that um then we have control server be able to control the server this is where i have no idea i think it's like redundancies almost i took mine off maybe this actually reduces what these do but we'll see what happens um uh, at some point when uh, i have the mods and that are gonna be doing things able to give or remove rules so we can manage roles um, um i'm gonna keep that off of moderators for now 
so I can manage my, those until eventually I have a community that's too big for me to be able to manage myself. Um, but yeah, that's how you can be able to change your server stuff. Um, you got to make sure you click apply whenever you do ch make changes and then other such. Um, as you can see, I, I actually did a big cleanup. So if you if I was part of your server before, I basically am not part of your server anymore. I've only kept a few, such as CJ's servers. Um, I wish the Dungeon Tale was back and active, but I think that server is dead. dead. I don't know why it's dead, but it's dead in the water now. Um, we have a Japanese Tale, which is a server I joined, and a couple of other uh, people that I've joined your servers. Um, I, I joined the server a lot. But we might be able to hop on to Clickster's server sometime, so we can go and uh, <laughs> I guess bother your uh, his viewers, your viewers if you're watching this Clickster. But yeah, that is basically how you can change stuff or what you can change within the Ulta launcher. There is still no way to do Ulta launcher things. Like for example, um, if you go to a certain server that you have um, like uh, admin privileges, you can do or for oh actually here's a good example. Go to a time worn forest. I can click on somebody and I can kick or ban because I am a moderator within this server. So um, with that, I could be able to oh I can add them as a friend. I can kick them or ban them. So I can do that. Mr. Hands, he's the uh, we're friends. We're like uh, he's the owner of the server. So I can be able to revoke all of these um, in uh, banned people. Looks like we have a lot of banned people. That's a lot of yeah. That's actually pretty crazy. Um, I think it's because um, he wanted to go to private server and go to a private server kind of setting. So, yeah, that's kind of sad there. But, yeah, so that's what moderators can do. Um, me being moderator saying this is the only thing I can do. I can't manage anything on the left. I only do stuff on the right. So that's kind of sad there. But, yeah, if you wanted to join a Township Tale, I have all the links and everything. Or not, or not a Township Tale. A, a Time Worn Forest. They have links in the description and such. I think he actually is trying to limit who's actually allowed on the server. So it's literally just us four. Um, it used to be a public server. Now it's not. He, he, he's definitely trying to reduce it down. And then I have my Japanese servers. So I'm not going to give you those links. Because ja those j servers are meant for people that can speak Japanese. Which I can. Okay. So I can only speak Japanese a little bit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that's basically um, it, really. I just wanted to sh do a small tutorial because, you know, I like to make tutorials for the different things and such. Um, you guys can probably see my user ID and other stuff if you wanted to add me as a friend. Um, I probably will not accept your invites um, unless needed. But if uh, you want to, go ahead, whatever. And I'll see you all later. Thank you for watching.